Hi there guys, welcome back to Supercaf TV. Today we have this monster truck which is by the brand New Bright. This particular truck is 2.4 GHz which means you can race up to 6 vehicles at once. It is full function and also it comes with a rechargeable battery pack. This one is 9.6 watts and that should give it some decent power. Now the age rating for this toy 8 plus. The monster truck itself is based on the Ford F-150 Raptor. What we're going to do now is get it unboxed for yourself so you have a, an idea what it looks like in the flesh. We're going to test it indoors on carpet and outdoors and that should give you a clear idea of whether this radio control monster truck is suitable for yourself. Okay, so let's get this unboxed. Okay, so here's the truck itself. If you haven't owned a new bright radio control car in the past, they do have a decent build quality. So as you can tell straight away, it's got this matte black finish to the paintwork of the plastic body. However, these tires don't have a proper rubber feel. So that might be a bit of a problem when we're testing it. Whether that's indoors or outdoors, we'll see if it's got decent grip. Anyway, so that's the controller there. That's the charger itself. The 9.6 watt battery is here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it out of the box and we'll get this battery charged. guys we've got the f-150 out of the box here's the radio control unit we've got the batteries for the radio control unit which are included which are double a's and they are new bright batteries that you get in the box now here's the lithium ion battery charger the 9.6 volt charger here and the battery itself which i've got the wrong way around here now good news guys, all it takes an hour and a half to charge, I don't know, it doesn't stay anywhere how long the battery lasts. Okay so we'll get this battery charged. Okay so you simply insert the battery into the charger. Okay now that the battery is charging, we'll have a quick little look around the monster truck itself and I'm really liking the matte black finish that it's got. I used to have a Ford F-150 monster truck before and these top three lights here used to actually work but these just look like reflectors on this one. Looking at the detail of the wheels and the general build quality of the monster truck, as mentioned earlier, New Bright generally have quite good quality toys. So the suspension, etc does actually work the front one doesn't though nearly broke the monster truck by trying to force that one down uh, so back one does work front one doesn't and a little bit of usable storage space just like the real f-150 okay guys flashing green lights on the charger it only took approximately well about an hour to charge before this flashing green LED indicator came on so I'm just going to take this off charge Okay, the batteries are now in just going to turn the wheels left and right on carpet surface okay there's no noise from the wheels I'm sure you've seen our previous radio control cars the Range Rover Sport and the Rastar models they create an awful lot of noise when you turn 
the wheels left and right. Apart from the usual sounds of the wheels turning left and right and the wheels moving back and forwards, it's pretty silent. Um, the Rastar models we did before, really noisy when they go back and forwards and especially the Range Rover Sport which we have now returned because it was absolutely shocking. There's no interference, 2.4 GHz just helps if you are playing with other radio control cars, otherwise these would be going crazy right now. So that's one good sign. Okay guys, it's time to test this outside now, so we're just going to see how it runs. Okay, let's go. stuck so obviously not like a professional radio control car will make it over the snow but yeah overall guys this is a really good monster truck by new bright i highly recommend it for the money that you pay sometimes this is on offer i got it for 45 pound argos do sell it for 90 pounds but it's a toy that occasionally does come on offer the radio control unit does feel really light and a bit flimsy it doesn't have any Pressure sensitive controls mean that if you gradually press the forward button it slightly moves along and if you press it all the way it goes full speed. Same thing with the left and right, it, it only goes either fully left, fully right and full speed ahead and reverse so there's no in between. But anyway guys I do recommend it, it's good value for money, it's well built. If you do appreciate videos like this do subscribe, share and like and I'll try to get some more on. Okay cheers, thank you, bye bye.